Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. The Savachi syndrome, I'm telling you, I'm like, well, holy shit, that was crazy. Wait for it. Thick and slick. <laughs> What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Moto Aftermath Hello. Show. This is episode number 207. Uh, I want to thank our sponsors here, Energy Fuel, TLR Coatings, uh, Premier Custom Trailers, Holster Co, Hello. Gutter Works, and JT design. Cycle, Isaac Nelson Designs, Clutch Media, everybody. Uh, so this show's gonna look a little different here. We're doing this much like the Weed Show. We are, uh, we've walking got the GoPro, talking. we're walking, we're talking, we're walking through the pits, we've talked to some people. Um, so we will, uh, we will put those interviews up at the end. We kind of went around and asked a few people we knew how their weekend was. Um, but basically we're here and this is immediate post-race reaction. So if we missed something, if there's something we didn't see, whatever, we have not watched the race. We've literally just been here all day running around trying to help uh, our boy Kevin Moran's out and uh, do things like that. So needless to say, Justin's here with me. All right, Justin, let's start, uh, let's start with 450s here. So 450 class, we, uh, uh, let's see, Tomac goes 1-1. One, one. And, and in dominating, dominating form. So, oh, God, damn it, he walked the class again. What did you boys, <laughs> what'd you boys, what'd you boys think of, uh, of Tomac's performance there? Eli's about Very to start good. running away with this series. Very good. I told, I told, he makes it look easy, honestly. Was anybody impressed with Sexton? Because I feel yeah. like he made, he, he made a good push both motos. He rode really well. He rode through some adversity. Uh, that first moto, it took him a little bit to get around Kenny and uh, wasn't really exactly sure if he was going to make it happen or not because he was following a little bit too much. You know, by the time he got into second, Eli, or, uh, Eli was gone. But I stand by what I said after the High Point show. These next four rounds were very crucial for Chase to uh, split motos with Eli because these next four rounds are arguably Eli's best in the series. Eli goes 1 1, down to what, seven points? Yep. Ken Roxon also looked really good today, though. Yeah, uh, but he had the, he had he the, had the fade, fade on at the end of the moto. But he looked good. He did. But he looked really, really, really well. He rode uh, well, but the fade, bro. I think Eli's going to have this points lead after we leave Southwick. And I think he's never going to look back. I think that uh, whatever yeah. nagging thing he had going on from the end of Supercross with his knee, getting that Yamaha dialed in, I think 2017, 2018, Eli's back. I think Eli's going to win this title. I'd say to people as good as our series has been so far, I think that you're going to see a runaway for these next, the rest of the, the second half of the series. Do we think that Sexton does anything the next few rounds? Like, yeah. yeah, I think Southwick is going to be a struggle for him this weekend because he's openly said that you know Sand is not his favorite, and even though Southwick isn't Southwick of the old days, it still is you know three foot deep holes everywhere by the end of the day. Yeah. Um, Man, that was the first time I ate all day, but worked my ass off all day. <laughs> Yes. But, uh, yeah. It's. I don't know. I. I, I think. I think Sexton might have just. His title hopes might just keep going down and down here in the next few weeks. So I got a question for you two. While we're at Red Bud, typically this is where you hear right around now who's playing uh, MX's Nations. Who's in the mix? Eli. Eli. Sexton. Sexton Justin think, Cooper. Ah, uh, not after the way today happened. Justin Cooper was not even close today. It wasn't even close. I mean, Hammaker was better than him. Kitchen was better than him. Thrasher was equal with him. I think it's as good as Cooper is and as good as he was in, what was it, 2019 when he went over first in Assen? Yeah. When he won MX2. But, uh... Assen. I think it's going to come... I think he'll be in the mix, but I really think it's going to come down to Hammaker and Kitchen. All right. Okay. I think Cooper would be a great choice, but uh, he kind of got one today. Yeah, he one. did. He Hammaker did. went about fourth year pin through the mechanics area earlier. But, oh. but, and we'll get to it when we talk about 250s. Styles Robertson rode really well today. Styles did ride really well he today. He also is an American. Had so. a solid day, except for that crash in the second moto. But that was, I mean, that that got Hammaker too. So that the tunnel jump, so that happened. But I think we're all in agreement that Eli and Chase are going to be our MX1, MX3 guys. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't think it's. Yeah, it's not even a question at this point. Yeah. Who are you going to? I mean, the only other person you'd have is, is Barsha or Anderson, and that's it. Yeah. 
Marshall was super pissed today. Holy smokes. Well, he wrote really oh, well, though. Yeah. He wrote, yeah, he was not happy after that crash. He was really yet. pissed. First moto, yeah. he was super pissed. But hey, he gets on the box yep. in the second moto. Yep. You piss him off, and that's what he does. Yeah, Dude, he was not happy. I'll tell you what, though. Was. That cross up over T2, where he whipped it real hard at Dunge, almost made Dunge jump off the track second moto, was uh, pretty much the most uncool thing I've seen in a long time. There's Joey from jerkingmeoff.com. <laughs> can we, uh, I had to apologize to Dungeon today because he almost ran me over. Oh, it really? It was my fault. Can we, uh, and it was your we, fault. Can we talk about my, my guy Joey Sabachi's first moto? Yeah. How impressive that was? Yeah. yeah. I think he ran himself into the red. I think that's why I didn't have much that second moto. Hey, yeah, we go, we're looping through or what? Huh? We're looping through or what? Yeah, we can loop through. Oh, man, fun. he was running second for what? 28, 29 minutes that first moto? Yeah, probably something and like that. And then Chase, you know, zapped him as he should be. Yep. You know, but, um, I think that Joey's gonna keep building, and I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna put himself in there. This is also Marshall Weldon. Oh, hey, local Michigan person, Marshall Weldon. Does Marshall Weldon, can you can, you, can you be on our podcast? We get tens and tens of views. Wow, it's oh, really wow. impressive. It's a big show. So Marshall Weldon is having a PR season, a personal record season, and today it was no exception. Today was the today signing, was amazing. Star. For Marshall Weldon. Today was my best day ever. Yeah. How, how how was your day, sir? Let's hear it out of your mouth. I mean, it was rough. I was like 26 in the first qualifying session. I was like, gosh, <laughs> damn it. Like, it was humbling, and then. Rebound in session two, and then I don't know. Thing just clicks once the gate drops. Got a good start. Okay. I say that first moto you ran, you finished tenth, right? Yeah, right. Okay. I, I hovered around tenth all day, pretty much. I was yeah. Tenth, eleventh, kind of all day, and I just had a lot of fun. It's it cool, like hearing everybody, a lot of air horns, all team cheering, holding. So. Hell yeah. Fuel real? I mean, it's, it's still a tenth. I mean, it's not a win, but it's. Yeah, it might be 10th, but it's fucking 10th. Feels good. Yeah. Bro, I mean, this, when I look at the list in front of me, it's like, it's pretty badass. This is what happens we when say you get that every single week. Yeah. Like, there guys like you, it's like, okay, look at the list. Who do you want them to beat in front of? When you like think of like AP last year, he's like kind of like winning. Yeah. Almost won here. So it's pretty cool. He's like one or two spots ahead of me. And, yep. Yeah, I was even on pace him a little bit. So uh, I saw you too. You were eyeballing him. Yeah. Even <laughs> like just in the first race, Barsha, like, Started reeling him like no you way. Almost had I'm like no way I'm reeling JB. Right now. Oh, that's, crazy. <laughs> that's awesome. So I'm now, still a fanboy for sure. Now am I correct? When you got on the bike, yeah, you just that first week you just rode the setup they put you on, like uh, Bogle Past setup few or weeks, something. Kind of just went back and forth and tried to throw a few things at me, but honestly, the, just the OG setting straight from the go has yeah. been good and I'm happy with it. We actually made a change uh, last week uh, with the suspension. That was the first actual change we made was last week, and not. Uh, I mean, I feel like it's good. I mean, there's definitely always room to keep tweaking, and yeah. I don't want to like settle and be like, don't touch it over nothing, because that's what these guys are paid to do is keep making things better. So um, I'm really happy with the team now. They got a really good cool. work ethic. Cool. And I'm then you're you sure. doing the rest of the rounds with them, correct? You're there yeah. the rest of the season. Yep. Sick. Sick. Talk, talks for next year. Are you uh, talking? We guys got some working. Like, for sure talks. Uh, you have World Supercross. For sure talks. Or, there you go. Right. That's all you there, there we go. go. There and go. we're in. And Excuse we're in. We're talking. Cool. One more thing. Um, the rollers we noticed yesterday, they dug them like super deep. It was not like they've been in the past few years yeah. where it was like more flat and then when yeah, they, they let them dig like out. This. Yeah, know, peaked. Like, so what did you think of those? Like, did you like them, not like them? I didn't have an issue with them all day. I, you definitely could have had an issue quick. But yeah. I just kind of, I took the approach like, just make sure you get a good drive like early and then yep. don't try and be a hero like exiting <laughs> a turn. Like, just try and get a good like direct drive and kind of just get a flow for the first three or four and then kind of rid them out of the rest. So cool. I, I kind of like had my own little way going through them and it worked good all day and I didn't really switch it up much, but definitely ate a few people, I think. Yeah, cool, awesome. Well, yeah. good job, brother. It. Keep good it job, up. Good Thank you. Yeah, see you, man. Um, Marshall Welton. Marshall Welton, cool. Hey, man, We're just going to talk about this top 10 here. Top 10. Yeah. Top 10. Very, top very top 10. Dude, God, that is he straight up almost past Barsha right in front of the pants area. Really? Yeah. And we were talking about this and, after the high point. Tom's losing his to, fucking I mind. I was windmilling like crazy. <laughs> this is a kid that, if you don't know Marshall's story, is literally the epitome of a kid who works his ass off. You know, we have guys like Kevin Moran's. Marshall's another one. This kid even went to Europe. Yeah. Then went to Canada. Then he came back. He's done everything. Kid busts his ass, so it's cool to see him get a shot and actually uh, doing something with it. Yep. So, okay, so moving on uh, with the 450s here. So we've talked about Eli, dominating day. We've talked about Chase, uh, really good day, solid 2-2. Two, two. Huh? Next row? Yeah. Um, uh, Chase, I don't want us to skip over that because honestly, he was very good today. Very he good. One, but he's so fucking good, it's not even funny. And here's the thing. 
he's in shape like he got done there and he chased people down and he did he's he never looks tired after the motos it's a it's very it's very obvious that Eli and chase have separated their stuff yeah themselves from everyone else. now kenny had the fade going the second moto um are we going down this way or Nah, nah. Okay, all right. Um, so Ken had the Ken had the fade going. Um, Barsha crashed in the rollers. First moto. First moto. Yeah. First moto. So then came back, third place, second moto. So that's a pretty decent day for him. Uh, I thought Dunge looked good all day. Like I said, I was not stoked on that move over T2 where Barsha whipped it at him and he almost pushed him off the side. Yeah, it was like, dude, it it made me go, whoa, whoa, because he literally rode down the side of that. And being a guy that's jumped off the side of that jump, it's not a lot of fun to go that way. So, um, but outside of that, I'm, I am wildly impressed with how Dungey has been this year. Like, I, I did not think he was going to be as good as he's been. I thought he was going to fuck around, you know, 6 to 12 range and like that was going to be it, but... Not me. Dude, look at Roger DeCoster carrying around a fucking sludge kick. There's nothing that you can beat in your day than Roger DeCoster carrying a sledgehammer around because you just he don't expect to see that. Earlier, I was like, oh. Yeah. Jeez. Just bedazzled by my, my outfit. That's probably. Probably. Um, okay, who else we want to talk about in 450s? Ando had kind of a rough day. Yeah, well, you know, he goes down the first moto, second moto, took him a little bit to get loosened up. I mean, Ando just, the, the MX gods do not like Jason Anderson when it comes to racing outdoor nationals. No. They just don't. No. It just sucks because, you know, the kid's got so much speed. He's got the cardio to go the distance. And he just, good things don't happen to him. I mean, you know, he got the overall hang town, but still. I yep. Mean, it's rough, but I think he'll get another one. I think he'll get another one before the end of the year. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if you guys can see this on the film while we're walking around, but the people who are walking by are like Rob Whitehouse and a bunch of people that are fucking all time. Well, hey, right. let's pause for a second. So, Joey Sabachi's right there, and that first moto by Joey was fucking incredible. Yeah. Yes, even even not being quote unquote a Sabachi guy, that first moto was absolutely impressive. Hey, kiddo. Oh, one more. Kiddo, you see that guy sitting there with the lady between his legs? Walk up and fist bump him and tell him good race. She, she gonna do it? Yeah, go do Think it. She'll do it? Go do it. Go tell him good race. It'll be okay. He's a nice go guy. Tell her, go say, hey, Joey, good ride. Yeah. <laughs> no? You're not gonna you do, do, it? Wait, 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 wait. do it? Because he's a rider. Because he rode really well. Yeah, and he rode really he well today. First moto. You can go Did tell him. Win? Uh, no. no, but he rode yeah, really well. Best ride of the season. Did he win? Did Tomac win? Yes, Tomac won. Don't bring up Tomac. That's not good. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Well, let's move. Moving on. Moving on. All right, let's look down here. What? You're gonna do it? Okay, go do it. Is she, is she Are you gonna do it? Because we gotta move the show along. Is she gonna do it? I don't know. She's gonna walk over there? She's there we go, walk over there, there we go. There we go. Oh, she's not gonna do it. Go, she gonna do it? Go, 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 go. It's okay. Say, hey, Joey, good ride. Hey, Joey, good ride. It's okay. Is she gonna do it? I don't she's know, slowly maybe. inching up there. She They're is. Gonna looking at They're gonna start looking They're gonna start at looking at her. It's okay. Just fist bump him, say, good ride. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Good job, kid. Oh man, one of the great, one of the great part. Oh, hey, that guy right there when he's done signing stuff, go fist bump him and tell him, great race. <laughs> Straight one, right? Yeah. Okay, I thought I so. To, I, had to do it. I double take on that. I was like, wow. wait a wow. minute. Great job, Joe. Great yeah, job. great yeah. job today, buddy. Oh jeez, there we go. Way to go. Oh man. Okay. All right, boys. All right. Let's keep moving on. So yeah, a little weird around here. Ah oh, God. We're not good at this. Hey, thank you. Yes. Are you a celebrity? I wouldn't say that. But I'm, I'm very much supporting our country. That's for sure. Hey, out. Uh, I don't. Nope. I don't see him. I don't see him. So. Oh wait. Isn't that him right there? That's not him in the hat? Yeah, that is right there in the hat with the glasses. 
Hold on, sorry, we gotta do, we gotta do the things here. <laughs> right here, just relax. I, okay, great, just relax. <sighs> all right, sorry, we got sidetracked. Chick's been waiting all day to meet Tomac, and there he finally was, so. Got the autograph, that was awesome. Anyway, okay. Hey. So let's keep going here. Who else we want to talk about in 450s here, boys? Uh, Shane McKellen had a rough day. Shane did have a rough day. It was not, it's not great. It was not great, but you know, that happens. Look, here's the did thing. Did he ride good and get bad finishes or did he uh, I don't, I didn't even I notice him moto, all day. He went down, the second moto, I don't really know what happened. Oh. See, the problem with being in here, this position is that I literally yeah. saw half of one moto all day. The rest of it I was working <laughs> or in the mechanics area, you don't watch the race then. Yep, pretty much. So, um, man, anything else 450 wise here? I'm trying to think because like I said, it's rough with us Shout being here. Shout out to Henry here. Miller, he had a good day. Henry Miller had a good day? You know who yeah. got some points today? Who? who? Jeff Walker. Oh, oh, we, we talked, talked to him. him. We, we do, we got an interview with him. Yeah. So yeah, so we're good on- I don't good know on, him, but I'm proud for him. We're good on that. Yeah, best finish ever, he said. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Um, all right, so 250 class then, let's move on to that. So Jack goes out first moto, um, it makes a pass into the lead, bike smokes coming out of the rollers, next lap going no, through the no hills, just, uh, it just, the bike is just done. It's toast, grenades, DNF that first moto. Oh, really? And that is how quick this series can change. Yep, DNF, I got the video of him changing it out. Um, so then we go to moto two and he comes out and he just uh, makes a pass and off he goes. Let's, now, uh, let's, but also let's talk about Joe Shimoda's neck. Okay. Very out proud there. Of Joe he was, Shimoda. He's sitting back there behind Jet and Hunter, kind of pacing him. For a while, actually, like Hunter, I think, was holding up Jet, and I think Jet was holding up Sushi. And I think he's being respectful because they're all under the same, you know, they're all under the same manager. They, they've grown, you know, they've grown up racing each other. They're all good buddies. You know, they're not going to run it in deep, which is the unfortunate thing for, you know, a lot of people because they know no aggressive pass, which I'm not talking about takeouts, but like it's going to be one of those things that you're going to have to work a little bit harder. And, uh, Weecha. Nice. You know, should we go get in on the weed on the, <laughs> on the post race show? Be like, Weech, can we do this I together? Know. I don't know. No, and, and, and Joe gets around Hunter, I don't know, like the 20 minute mark, and he just puts on a sprint. When he puts on a sprint, I think he broke Hunter a little bit because I don't think Hunter was expecting Joe to have that much in him. The second motor comes around, and all fair game to Jet went out and did what he had to do to make up for that first moto, which was obviously not his fault, not the team's fault. Shit just happens. But Joe down the first lap at the bottom of Monza with, I think it was RJ and, and Cooper and Cooper. And he comes back and he gets on the box, gets his first overall and the national. All I'm saying is I would have Super loved to have seen Joe and Jet go at it. Cause I think it would have been a battle. I think it would have been a good battle. Months. Yeah. But so, um, um, track dried out a lot. It did. It did. It wasn't it as was, rough as a normal red buddy. No. Cause it dried out. Um, okay. Let's talk about Hunter because that wasn't, in my opinion, a great, I mean, me and Hunter are best friends now, essentially. I would kick your ass if you said that. Me and Hunter are literally best friends. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so that wasn't a great look today. Cause well, yeah. does it need to be? Or does he just need to get, like... I mean, okay, so he has the points lead now? or I, Yeah, he's got the points lead. But it, it's literally from Jet getting a DNF because he got dropped both those motos. Yep. Sushi dropped him, and then... Uh, What's his nuts? Jet dropped dropped, jet dropped in the second moto. Mm. So I don't know. I mean, it could just be an off day. Okay, let's just let's just go there. It could Here's just the be an off day. I don't judge that stuff by if you don't win, you had a bad day at all, at all. Especially if it's your fucking brother. It's getting winning races because your job isn't necessarily yeah you want to win, win. But your job is to be the champion or damn close and in it at the end, right? So if you're out there and you're like five seconds back and you're going pretty fucking hard out. You don't necessarily have to go kill yourself to get your go beat your brother because you're gonna be right there for points anyways. Especially, I mean, even if it's Joe, because same difference. Okay, but here's the thing: when when Jet does what he does, which is essentially he hasn't even won every moto, yes. but up until this point he's won every overall, and then you have a day where he DNFs, you have to capitalize on that and maximize points. And getting second place and getting dropped by multiple, multiple seconds is not maximizing it. <laughs> Red bud. Red bud. That's sick. Um, hey, Chase. Great day, buddy. Great big. Yeah, good job, bud. Um, yeah, so anyway, so it wasn't... Uh, 
I don't I don't believe it was his best yeah. day ever. True. And like I like like I said, when you have Jet not doing what he's been doing and he DNFs, you have to capitalize on that. You cannot let him get away. So well, thankfully we're going to Southwick where he went one one and put a clinic on everybody last he year. He did. Ooh. He did. And so, that and could probably like happen again. Second moto. It may not be a good look, but he is going to track that he's got some good mojo on. And that's the thing is, is like, look, this is this year, last year was last year, but when you go out and put the clinic on that you did last year, it might not have mattered today, because if he goes one one, appointment sleeve is gonna be double ditched even if Jet gets second. So I don't know, we'll see. It's game on. I mean I'm more happy for Joe than I am all of them. I'm a big Hunter supporter, but I love the fact that Joe got his first overall today. Uh, and, he won, and he won a moto to do it. Yep. It wouldn't have, like, if he would have got 2-2 and would have got it, that still is, it counts. Eh. But you win a moto and you win in that fashion. You earn it. And I'll tell you what, that boy probably could have done an hour long moto with the way he was charged at the end of that second moto. That's cool. He didn't look tired when no, we just talked to him either. So that's really, really good. So those, boys, <laughs> those boys throw another wrench in there. Yep. All right, what else? Who else we got? Who else we want to talk about? about Ty we barely even started on 250s yet. Yeah, Ty, I'm, Ty I'm, was I'm asking. There. I'm asking. We're not. I didn't like, say we were done walking and talking. You can fucking stay healthy. Well, yeah. here's the thing. I remember when we were here when there was no fans here at Redbud and Ty Master Pool yeah. was like, okay, I'm going to come out and kill everybody in the field. And then since then, we've kind of been like, well, where's Ty at now? And then we come see him today. And he's performing again. That kid's got it's some like insane sprints. Nice. That kid's got some insane sprint speed at the beginning of motos. He can get Holy starts shit. too. It's wild, dude. It's wild. He's really, really good at the beginning of motos. If he can just motos. stay healthy, he, I think he'd be top five all the time. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to argue because anytime he races and he's healthy, he's usually not outside the top five. No, not at all. Not at all. So, um, okay, let's keep running down. Pierce Brown. Anybody knows what happened to him the first moto? I don't know what happened to Pierce. Honestly. I have no idea I either. I was changing clutch. I don't know. I was back watching him change Jet's motor, and all of a sudden I saw him washing Pierce's bike, and the motor wasn't over, and I'm just like, eh, that's not good. Mosman um, had a just a so -so day. Had he did a so -so hit the deck, day. so that's a good time. Okay. There wasn't very many guys that went down today, was there? No, uh, I mean, RJ went down. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> let's talk about, hear about him. Let's talk about RJ for a second. Two motos in a row. Two motos in a row. He goes down on the first lap or second lap. No works littering. His, works his way all the way up inside the top five. Two motos in a row, literally catches his teammate Styles Robertson, and it's a fender at the finish, both motos. So I'm I'm wondering if he's going, huh, well, I just got to stop crashing, or he's just a little pissed that it was both motos, it was his teammate Styles Robertson. And by the way, I'm going to lay off the Styles Robertson hate a little bit because uh, that kid's been doing work this outdoor season. Yep. Uh, and I see a podium coming along in his future if he keeps riding the way he's riding. Okay, so on a similar note to Styles Robertson, I gotta hear what Ryder D. How did he do? Second moto was great. I, I don't saw know. him getting out front in the second moto. I was gonna say, second moto was really good. He uh, he was, ran top five for a long I mean, he time. Was last like first the half of the, of the moto, yeah. Freight train for a while. Yeah, him and Matt, him and Master Pool were, were first, second, look, or I'm sorry, third, fourth, like yeah. uh, for 15 minutes at least. Look. I think there's a lot of hype around a lot. Like Romano got some hype, LeBlanc had not so much. Hymas is gonna have hype. We know with the combine that was he this weekend. Great. Did we talk about the combine already? On no, the no, we have not talked about that. No. Hayden Deegan went one one on that one. So. All right. So and while, while the we're getting the tangent here, the the combine was hap after it rained a whole bunch here for the fans at home who didn't watch it. Oh, it was kind of muddy, but it was already rough from the rest of the moto throughout the day. And obviously, for those who've seen it, Deegan uh, went and had a great one one performance, but. Uh, we had a couple other guys that were look, looking pretty good, although they were quite a ways behind. Like Chance Hymas went down in the second moto and came back and was Talon riding Hawkins pretty went down. Good. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, but onto the Ryder D thing. I think honestly what happened that first moto, I said this to Travis, is I think a lot of these kids come in. We know they ride with their teammates all week, whether they're at a training facility, they're in California. They know where their speed is going to a lot of those nationals. Maybe not for 35 minutes, but we all know that they do. I think he may have gotten a little overwhelmed with how quick the intensity comes up at the beginning of these motos. I think he had to take a de he decompressed, and then the second moto he came out and he goes, look, I gotta sprint right off the bat because if I spot these boys 10 seconds, I'm not making it back up. And he did. He had a really good second moto. So I'm, in, I'm impressed. It wasn't bad for, for first pro national. Yeah, like, for I'll, first, like I'll give it to him. 
Yeah, yeah cause we saw him at the combine last year at Ironman. Yep. He looked pretty good there. He uh, he went out, down. Chance had problems there too. Do you remember that yeah. now? Yep. I just thought about that. Like Chance did not have a good combine at Ironman last year either. So, yep. um, yeah. I will say though, this, <laughs> this the Star Boys this week, today, <laughs> we're linked up the whole entire time between Kitchen, my boy Thrasher, <laughs> Jay Coop, LeBlanc, Romano, like I don't think those boys could get away from each other. There was a point where they were all one right after another the whole entire time. And sh shocking, who would have thought they were the only ones really hucking the lead? Who would have thought a Star Yamaha? A Star Yamaha was the only one jumping the lead. Really? Yeah, that was it. I mean, all, all, all day. Every, every one of them hit it at some point. Yeah, in both cool. motos. Yeah. yeah, all day. That's yep. some confidence right there. I mean, even yep. Hayden Deegan, like he did it for the crowd when they were doing their little sight line. Did he? Because I like turned at the he just waited the perfect at the time and didn't see it. He stopped at the end of the rollers. He yeah. Seen Phine like Phineas, like came up way short and he was like low and going like this to the crowd and you could see uh i don't know one of the ride engineering boys like stopped at the, the top of the landing and like hayden even stopped at the top of t3 and he's like look he's looking over at him he's waiting he's getting the crowd all pumped up and then he just swings wide clicks third cool stretches it gets over no problem that's seeing something on 250 oh yeah. man i didn't see reading but it's today a but it's a star 250. i mean it's still that's a hard jump to make reads over at the honda truck talking to the lawrence brothers Cool. I saw so, him. Yeah. Um, That's awesome. Yep. So bring Reed back Hamaker. for the bring bring Reedy back for the destinations, eh? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Seth, Seth Hamaker had a pretty good day. First moto, second moto, man, another good start. Loses the back end on that little tunnel uh, step down double at the we'll bottom. Take it up later. I don't know where he worked his way up, but I know I looked. I just saw the left side of his bar was bent down, probably about a, an inch, maybe. Yeah. Show, show the fans what what it looks like when you're trying to crack the. Oh, we've been we've been at this before. Kev over here. Downloading, downloading footage. Oh. He's a working man. Working man. So, all right. What else do we want to talk about? Two fifty wise. What? RJ was RJ fast crashed. Uh, Swole, I don't know. was irrelevant. Uh, I don't want to talk about Julian too much. Too. We talked about Shimoda. Apparently, he oh, we did. Oh, we dude, talked about I, him. I, Signed sushi. the shirts. Sushi. Oh, that's who that was. Oh no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Tomax on there. Don't oh, worry. Oh, don't man. worry. Dude, we're literally walking. We're literally walking, his way. We're we're literally walking and I was like, Eli's right like there. A little bit. And she's standing there and she gets up there, giddy schoolgirl, bro. Oh, oh my god, that. I'm your biggest fan, and I've been at your truck all day. And oh my god, can you please she sign my shirt? That? Oh yes, yeah, she did. Oh dude, that I don't know that I've heard her talk like that before. I mean, it was, yeah, I feel, I feel, I feel kind of bad. That's so. Cool. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you. Predictions for South. Well, I don't really have any more. I mean, dude, there was nothing. That was oh, it. It was just wild. Like, Carson Mumford was running in the top 10 for quite a bit in that second moto, and then obviously at the fade, but he hasn't raced nationals up until this point. So I was impressed expect. with him, though, because he was running like six that second moto yeah, for a while. Yeah, I didn't expect time. him to be in shape. Derek Kelly had another solid top 15 performance. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It was just the normal people. Like I said, Star was just locked together for the whole entire moto both times. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, have, we, have we talked about points? Where are the points at with Jet not Well, Hunter's up. Hunter's up, but I don't know about how much. Single it's not digits. a lot, yeah. yeah. So Eli's, you know, going to take over the points lead in the 450 class here pretty soon, so that's He's only set. Chase's only seven up now. He'll have how it. How'd Chase do today? Second. Two, two. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He was coming from Mac, what? Went one, 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 pretty easily. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, he'll have the points lead after Southwick, let's be honest. Yep. Seems crazy. So, all right, let's talk Southwick. Eli won one. Eli won one. Hunter won one. Yep. Jet 2-2. I, I, I don't agree with that. Chase 2-2. Two, two. Oh, oh, what do you, okay. what do you think, man? I don't okay. think there's going to be anybody going 1-1 one, one for anything next weekend. San, really? Sand tracks? No. You don't think Eli's going to go 1-1? One, one. I mean, he could, but there's a lot of people that are going to be trying to stop him. Let me put it that way. Hunter was not having as good of a season last year, and he went 1-1. One, one. I think the 250s is up fair. for debate. He's a sand guy. There are plenty of guys that are hungry. You know who we need? To, you know who? You know who Eli Tomac needs to watch out for? Fucking Marshall Welton. That's what he needs to look for. Oh, at. God. Here we go. <laughs> All right, where are you at? You're at the Tomac. I got. I think. I think 250. Tomac, I think Hunter wins the overall. I think Eli goes one one. I think 250s is more likely, but I mean, let's be honest. With Dylan Frondis not being here this weekend or being here this year, like, there's nobody I don't see beating Eli in the sand. Like, I'd love to agree with my guy Tom Cooper, but I just don't see it. Like, Eli is the sand master. Like, let's be real. <laughs> Mr. Unless, sand outside, unless outside of Jeffrey Hurling showing up. Oh boy, here we go. Eli's here gonna go we one go. One. There's a lot of guys that are going to be trying to go at next Look, week. Joe's going to go 1-1. One, one. Why are your He's... pants fitting a lot tighter all of a sudden? I don't know. Why are your pants fitting <laughs> tighter when you're on jet, you fucking weirdo? All right, so this has been episode number 207 of the Moto Aftermath Show. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry that this isn't really a regular show. Uh, we're gonna have this again at Ironman because me and Justin are headed down to Ironman for that race. Um, so we will have one more this year that's kind of like this. Uh, but again, we're just trying to fit the show in. We've been together all weekend. We've been at the track all weekend and... The most important thing left on this fucking red bud. That's the most important thing. It is red bud. It is red bud. 2022 and it's done. Thanks for tuning in. Thank See you all next week. Talk about this is what I'm here for. This is it is weird. Yeah. yeah, hold up the award. Oh, no. oh, that's a sweet shirt you got on there. Justin, what happened to your first moto, bro? Do you like it? Is yeah. It... I lost my shock bolt. Second lap. <laughs> Holy sh okay. So I had a shock up my anus. Okay. Ouch. And the second moto, I fell the first lap. Okay. And came back to 21st. Not bad. Not bad. That was a good second moto. I saw you the first moto rolling around. I was like, what in the hell is he doing? Yeah. Oh well, whatever. Another day in the life of a privateer, right? And we're we're on to Southwick. Yeah, out of here. Just waiting, just waiting for Bud's Creek. <laughs> Fuck this place. Hate yeah, Red Bud. Just, I'd rather just race Bud's Creek the rest. Of the all the time. We're <laughs> national with Bud's Creek. Twelve rounds, yeah. Bud's Creek. Save so much money. Yeah, be great. <laughs> Scott Meshi, how did your day go? Not great. Not even a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Not even. Not I don't even. even a, want to talk about not it. In, no, I really don't. No. No, I I didn't. I mean, qualifying was halfway decent i yeah. hit the leap on the last lap when it was an off lap yep uh qualified 28 which not super thrilled about uh got out first moto i think i started like 15th and um was having a really really hard time with the suspension suspension um and then i would think about maybe halfway through dab my foot in the corner and re uh had a, a little run in with the same injury that that took me uh that took me out of Hangtown and has kept me out of the last two races. Um, ended up back in the medic rig, and um, thankfully, again, nothing broken. Um, shot a tour at all. Uh, felt like <laughs> shot a tour at all. We're good to go. I went from I went from not being able to put any weight on my foot to walking perfectly fine, which was incredible. I've never felt anything like it. The bo drugs. Honestly, drugs modern, are amazing. Drugs modern, are amazing. Modern day medicine is a marvel. It really, truly really is. And <laughs> I know, really. And I went out again. I didn't even get more than a quarter of a lap. Caught my foot on a rut on a straightaway in that like black dirt section, and it ripped it. And I, even with that strong pain medication, was in tears. Like couldn't put any weight on it at all. Sick. Just yeah. So. That's something that is clearly not going away anytime soon. So I have, a, I have a bit of a recovery time to, to deal with with that. And it's just gonna be a thing of trying to figure out what I can do to keep yeah. that from happening again, or trying to make it a little bit better structurally supported. You know? Yeah. So. Red, bud, Red Bud can just not, I just, yeah, I just, yeah. Don't really wanna. I think it'll play in the sand next weekend, so that'll be fun. Be I know, better. no ruts. Yeah, so I just hold it wide open. Yeah. Try your hand in a three foot hole. Listen, well, you ride sand all the time. Yeah, so it's the sand, fine. yeah, the sand is fine. I'm, yeah, Florida, Florida guy. Yeah, he's just, yeah, sand, 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 that's my jam. <laughs> hey, the merch for Rod Bell. <laughs> Dude, this is, so, so listen, so, so the Moto Aftermath show sponsored the uh the bike for for this weekend and to be quite honest because of my my underperforming I, i'm extending the contract <laughs> to next weekend as well yes and perfect uh, and the other yeah this was the other sponsorship i got this weekend was was two bellrod t-shirts rob bell where, do, where can they get the merch bellrod.co baby bellrod.co it's, it is pretty comfortable i'm not gonna lie it's, dude those next good. level I'm shirts are lie. sick it is nice. Hell yeah. Pick yours up today. Bellrod.co. That's right. All right. Thanks. I'll get my own merch, I promise. I have a shirt. Yeah, but I'm okay. gonna get I need to get more. Yeah, we're we're colla we, we might be collaborating. That's what I like to hear. That's yeah, what I like to hear. Here, sticking together. All right. Thanks guys. Yes. All right, Jeff Walker, we're here at Red Bun. How was your day, buddy? Fantastic. Best pro national I've ever had. Hell yeah. Yeah. Qualifying was a little rocky. Qualified like 29, so I was wondering how the day was gonna go, but um was running like 22nd all in Moto 1. Thought I got 21st, but it turns out someone crashed on the last <laughs> lap. So we got a surprise little points payout. Perfect. And then, uh, of course, we had to back it up in Moto 2. Otherwise, I was going to be pretty angry. So we uh, were running like 16th for a lot of that Moto. Yeah, we were and paying attention. Kind of threw the anchor out a little bit. 
and uh, ended up 20th. So we went 20-20, cool. double points weekend. This is my first time ever scoring points on a dry track. Done it a couple times in the mud because I got these long boys, you know, <laughs> stick them out like skis, none of the boys can handle it. Um, but yeah, this was my first legit points on cool. a dry track. So what did you think of the rollers today? Because we noticed yesterday they dug them out a lot deeper than well, the last few years. Like I said, I got the long boys on me, so I was loving them. But yeah, they were freaking brutal. In practice, you, they were so big, you could like double, double, double. Yep. They started to get worn out. So then we were just kind of like doing the whole wheelie down in it, which was tiring for sure. But <clears throat> I was loving it, man. It seemed like a lot of cool. people struggled there, but I feel like I, that was one of my better sections. So Sweet. that was uh, a good passing spot for sure. But at the end of the moto, I wasn't loving it for sure, but <laughs> and we're, we're on to was. Southwick next week. On to Southwick, <clears throat> so we'll go out to some sand tracks this week. Cool. Do some long motos, and hopefully it's not 100 degrees like normal, but it will be. So <laughs> yeah, good luck yeah. with that. All right, yeah, appreciate, appreciate it, buddy. It. Thank yeah. you, man. Good luck See next week, guys. Job, buddy. All right, Eric Grandal, Red Bud Pro National here. Yep, Red Bud. Qualified in. How we feel yeah. about the day? It was okay. I mean. I'm happy to just make it in. I haven't done a national in three years. I never rode my dirt bike the last three years, honestly, <laughs> until like two months ago when it it all started out as a joke. I was big into cycling and my girlfriend and my buddy were like, all right, if you don't win this cycling race, because I was feeling pretty good, they were like, you got to do a national. And I was like, I was like, how about a podium? And then <laughs> I podiumed the cycling race, got second. And then I was like, you know what, maybe, maybe we'll still do the national. Maybe we'll still. And then I was like, well, I'm not gonna train for that long and just do one national. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Yep. So trained my butt off down in Florida the last two months and came here to Red Bud and we did it <laughs> by the skin of my teeth in qualifying. <laughs> we were 35th, but we made it in there. And then the motos, the motos were a struggle. I think I went like 33, 28 or something like that. Not great, but not bad. Second didn't look moto terrible. Was, you didn't look second, like you threw yeah, an anchor. Yeah, second moto, first moto there was definitely an anchor. I cramped up <laughs> so bad. I think I just forgot to breathe just being out there after not being there for so long. It's yeah. so different from doing any other racing. So, uh, but yeah, the second moto, much better. I kind of got stuck behind one guy for like, honestly like five laps and it was just like completely lost the toe of the group ahead of me <laughs> and then i finally got by him and i was just like man like kind of in no man's land all by myself so i was just trying to stay motivated trying to find someone in front of me on the track and then my goal was to not get double lapped like i did in the first photo so didn't get double lapped in the second photo much much better feeling sweet barely didn't get double lapped but we didn't get double lapped <laughs> and two things feels good after three years so. did you huck the leap i did not oh, oh okay oh no. not all day no oh. because that last moto i went to the outside and it had a gnarly kicker on the face so i was just oh. like screw that i was like i'm not even gonna bother none of the guys around me were doing it so yeah. i was just like it's not even worth it at that point like okay my <laughs> My, the first moto, I actually, my rear wheel almost blew out. So oh, really? that was part of the reason that I yeah, didn't yeah. do so well, because I was like, I could feel it wobbling really bad. And Did like, case something when or? I was, so I way over jumped oh, that triple step up over there. Okay. Two laps in a row. Don't know how. <laughs> I think it was because in practice, it was so muddy and like you had to hit it so fast. Okay. And then in the race, it dried out a lot. Yep. And my brain was just like, wide open yeah just brain fart and just Got hit it. at the same speed it felt like and i was just like oh no <laughs> and i was like okay hit it slower the next lap and then next lap same thing not slow enough <laughs> yeah so then like every time i was like in the air i could hear like i don't know i could hear metal clinking and stuff like that so i was like yeah i'm just gonna like back it off and kind of be safe the rest of this moto and We'll put the other wheel on for the next one, so that's what we did. <laughs> what did you, uh, what do you think of the rollers? Because we noticed yesterday they dug I them did deeper. I not like them. Really? They no, dug them out so much terrible. more than normal. Yeah. yeah. The last few years because, they've been much flatter to start yeah, with. Yeah, well they just weren't even like normal rollers until like that last moto was the first moto that you could actually like roller them. Yeah. And 
other than that, all day you were just like double, 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 and like everyone was doing the same thing. It looked to me like the left side got a little flatter than the right yes, side. The left, okay. The left side got a little flatter, but it also had like two huge ruts, hmm. and if you got off balance, you completely screwed your momentum. Interesting. For, for them. So, so it wasn't I like, liked it. I liked it a lot better when they would start off small. Yeah. And then they would get more like natural sand rollers throughout the day. So they were they were they sandy or were they a little bit harder? Because like in they past years sandy. they've been sandy they and you've been sandy. able to go everywhere. But Kev was telling me that like this year it seemed like they almost were rutting kind of as you went well, through them. So. So I think they were like because they built them up, it almost it gives it that harder feeling. Because okay. Because when it breaks down, you get to that harder base sooner, I guess. Okay. I don't know. They, I guess I would say that they were a little bit harder. They weren't quite as sandy okay. as they used to be. I don't know. They were so different, it's hard to compare. Yeah. But I didn't like them. I don't know what other That was like mid-2000s. They, they haven't been that rounded off. They just they used to be just flat all the time. Dude, they were like, they were like yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. practice. I was like... You had to run through because like, to stay in it, not, you wouldn't drive yeah, forward. I was like, what What are these? Like, <laughs> yeah, they brought Tim <laughs> Is this a rhythm section? Again. Yeah. So, we're on to Southwick now? On to Southwick. Top 20? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I had to ask, Look, I had to I ask. mean, I would love to, but like, and like, that's my home track, but I rode there once last week, and that was the first time I rode there since 2019. So, people might struggle. think it's my home track, but it's not. Hey. Okay. By the way, the Ray-Bans yeah. from the sponsorship. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> I got to keep Thank throwing you. that out there because it's yeah, a sick one. Yeah, shout out to my buddy Zach. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. Good luck yeah, next week. Good you. luck. All right. Kevin Moran's right here, Red Bud. How'd your race weekend go? Rough. Rough to say the least. Uh, we got a lot. There's a long story behind everything, but I'll keep it short. Long story short, we missed qualifying by one position. Less than a tenth of a second, I believe. Uh, so that was a real bummer. Uh, just got my stuff together, knew I was good at starts. I was like, you know, good at LCQs usually. So I was pretty confident going in and then got a good jump. Just, I ended up wheeling, had to clutch. And that was a terrible start in the LCQ. Fought my butt off to get back up. Um, ended up fifth, so it was one spot short again. Ended up, uh, somebody must have blew up or didn't show up for the first moto. So I was able to sneak in. So I got to race both motos, which was awesome. Um, struggled in Moto 1, just was beating the heck out of me, the bike was, so we made a lot of changes. We went stiffer all the way across the board. We went two clicks stiffer on the forks, we went two clicks stiffer low speed, and we went a whole half turn on the high speed shock going stiffer, and rode a lot better in the second race. Unfortunately, in the second race, I uh, started right next to Roxanne and McElrath. We locked arms. I went down the start stretch. Obviously, the first couple corners just absolutely getting blasted. I got blasted so much that dirt went up inside of my goggles and I had to kind of play with it. For the first three laps, I was like, I, was, I knew that if I stopped, I was gonna be in last. And uh, tried to ride for the first three laps, and I have contact, so it's really tough to ride with dirt in your eyes. And uh, it's just floating up, and it got in there, it was blurred out, so I ended up having to pull off, take my goggles off, shake them out, get back going. Came around the next lap in like 38, and got back to 26, I believe. So not bad, uh, good progress with the bike, but not where I wanna be, not where I think I should be at all, so. Pretty not happy at all with the day. However, we got to race, which I'm super stoked about. Had, kinda, we kinda had, not happy with we the had, day. We had great support, so I appreciate you know Travis behind the camera, TLR Coatings, Moto Aftermath. Uh, we got Tom Cooper here, we got Ooh. Justin helping, uh, Mark. We got uh, a that's good Mike. little crew. Mike? Mike, not Mark. Dude, that's what we were talking about. I tried looking it up on Instagram <laughs> and it won't load. But it's Holman, right? Hallam. Hallam? Yeah. So, uh, Hol we're holster coat, holster coat. Uh, we yeah, fouled that close. one. Gosh dang. So sorry, but no, there's great people behind us to make this this happen, and we're looking for help at uh, every round. So appreciate you guys helping. He might be hard on himself because he didn't go out and win one and one. But I tell you what, the amount of the amount of adversity this guy had, yeah, and it's still do. like it's not only like every not national only national Kev's going through adversity. Dude, every it's, freaking one of them. It's never easy. Not only just to deal with all the, the day to day stuff, but also to do that all the stuff that he does more than anybody else, right? All the all the video and promotion, all the shit that he does. My, my, and then the kissing, kissing hands and shaking babies in the middle of it. <laughs> a lot of that. What? that was, but the thing is that, that he still has to focus on the moto stuff, right? So like he's doing a lot of different shit. And to have a lot of diversity like this and still be in the 20s, position-wise, or fucking red butt, you got my salute. Just gotta appreciate here. that, appreciate that. And gotta now, be better though, so we'll see you guys. Southwick, Southwick. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Only a little bit.